Hello and welcome to Aunt Katie's Community Garden. This community garden was the first of its kind in Dothan uh, with the hope that we can duplicate it all around the wiregrass. Uh, the purpose of the garden is to increase access to fresh fruits and vegetables for a population here who might not have the ability to afford it. And we also have as a purpose to reach out to the children. Uh, we have special programs for kids between the age of 6 and 14 where we have an outdoor classroom and we teach kids about nutrition and urban gardening. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> For the past two years, we've had a partnership with the Hawk Houston Boys and Girls Club. For a 10-week period, children between the ages of 6 and 14 come to the garden and they actually grow fruits and vegetables in 3x3 three three boxes. Uh, they uh, learn about nutrition, they uh, come about once a week, they walk three blocks from the Boys and Girls Club to this location. This encourages them to be more physically active and to be really engaged for the garden experience. We hope to create a garden revolution from the work that we're doing. We're hoping to plant a seed in the children where they'll look back in five to 10 years and remember fondly something good that happened here in Aunt Katie's Community Garden. Each summer we conduct uh, tours of the garden and we, in, when we get our young children in the uh, garden we conduct scavenger hunts and they are able to uh, win points for identifying different kinds of plants. Out here today we have mustards and, and romaine lettuce, uh, fig trees, uh, grapes, blackberries, strawberries, blueberries. In the community garden, we use a concept of square foot gardening. This is a raised bed that's four by eight and we're currently growing mustard greens in this particular bed. Uh, folks from the community can come in and rent this box for $20 for a season. And we provide all of the technical assistance, we water it in, and give them a plan for growing what they want to grow. They can grow fruits or vegetables or flowers if they want to. In addition to the raised beds, we have uh, row crops. Uh, out here today, we have collards and turnips and cabbage, and Japanese cabbages, uh, peppers, uh, all grown chemical free. This last night, uh, I took a clove of garlic. Some insects can't stand the smell of garlic. <laughs> this is an uh, onion. Some insects can't stand the smell of onion. And this is red cayenne pepper. If the, if the bug gets on the plant and this is present, it will burn it. And he'll just give it up and won't, won't stay there. So what I do is I take a quart of water and put it in a blender. And then I put the, I, I peel the skin off of the garlic and I peel the skin off the onion and cut it up and put it in the water. And I blend it along with a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, a quart of water, and I'm left with a solution that looks a lot like this. Now, after it sets for about an hour, I add a, table, a tablespoon of hand soap. The hand soap turns into a foam, and when it dries on the plant, it stays, the, the essence of my pesticide stays on the plant. Uh, if you'd like to support our outreach and buy some of these great vegetables, just give us a call at 334-648-4496. Thank you for coming and visiting us at Aunt Katie's Community Garden today. If you have questions, if you need more information, if you'd like to volunteer or donate, just give us a call at 334-648-4496 and eat well and prosper.